Hey guys, welcome back to Surf Dog Studios channel. Sorry if this uh, video isn't like what you're really used to, because right now I'm still working on a alternate history video about the Iran-Iraq war. But over the past week, I've spent research on a war that Iraq is not even involved in, so I'm sorry about that. It's a huge delay to the video, almost the entire video. <laughs> it's really funny though, kind of, but not really. But I had to at least come out with something over the past uh, couple of weeks. As you probably can guess, I'm a huge fan of Creepcast, judging by the title of this video. And basically, I'm just gonna collect a few comments from the Apple Podcast thing, because they're wacky and super crazy. Like, like, honestly, like the most devious things I've ever seen. So anyways, enjoy the video and uh, thanks for sticking along. But yeah, let's ju jump right into it. Kids are always safe here. Is that a Mr. Beast reference? Papa, me, and daddy. I'm not gonna repeat that. That's it. That's the review. This is a hot show. This is a hot way to live. Hot. I am not fat. Why do English textbooks have Spanish glossaries? If someone speaks only Spanish, then the only words he would be able to translate are the few words found in the glossary. With no additional context, he would not understand anything in the textbook. It seems like a massive waste of paper. Oh my god. Bro, let me re- a massive waste of paper and ink when you considered how many texts was have emitted. That money could have been better spent on diapers for my daughter. Babies go through a crazy amount of diapers, and though I'm gainfully- Dude! Oh my- I pee my pants, so scary, but so good. One exclamation point, one exclamation point, one exclamation point. Mewing, 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 mewing. I don't know what that emoji is, I don't know what that emoji is, I don't know what that emoji is. Brain exploding, angry, 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 angry. 10 out of 10 would go with my again. I think it would be cool to see some HP Lovecraft covered. He had an infant imagination, and his stories creep me out, man. She went on my like canyon. She went on my like canyon. She went on my like canyon. And she went on my like canyon. Chinese tofu bricks or magician steak tart. Love my papa, he does the meat. Thanks guys, I will send you my medical bills. By the end of the four hour episode, you won't even notice that you have neglected your family and your job for hours. Same. Makes me quiver my nether regions. What the f*** does that mean? Only podcast that makes me laugh out aloud and scared at work. Papa Meat, give me a kiss. Romantical. This is a great listen, and with Wendigoon and Meat Canyon, it really makes my what? I love Papa Meat Hunter. I've always enjoyed his content on YouTube, not to mention his artwork slash Meat Canyon videos are amazing. He's amazing at voicing the character that I love to kind of... That being said, they read four words of ramble for 20 minutes. Wendigoon is infuriating, probably the most cringe person I've ever heard. I'm not familiar with the title, but God, dude, just settle down. He's like a giddy little schoolboy. He's talking to his crush. He just goes on rants and rambles about antidotes that are completely irrelevant to the content. Hunter's side track consistently to the show. And I know this isn't meant to be a reading the book for the scares vibe. It's more about them breaking down. Hunter's amazing. Wendy Goo is cringe. And there is no way I'm the only one who thinks this. But for some wild reason, I don't see negative any comments on Reddit. Okay, he's a Redditor. We need to get this guy out of here. He mispronounces words consistently, okay, nerd. He screams and laughs, his voice is probably the most annoying high-pitched screech I ever heard. I love listening to content like this while falling asleep, but this makes it impossible. The volume is so inconsistent, if I turn it down into a volume to compensate for his screeching, I can hear basically the conversation, but I would just to hear what they're actually saying. He blows out my ear every five minutes. I don't know why I'm rambling, and I hope they don't iron some stuff out, but I don't know if I can continue listening to his podcast. P.S. I don't get all the comments. This is scary, terrifying, adrenaline rush. How could you guys possibly get into this stuff with all of Wendigood's goofy side rambling? Yeah. Genuinely so confused by this. Yeah. Life-saving. This is great. I got hit by a drunk driver, but hearing the giggles of Hunter and Isaiah revived me. Listen to this podcast if you want to survive. Tell me why, after reading two sentences, the last 15 seconds of the main story, that you have to stop and put in your random, stretched out jokes. Like, I don't care about your giddy thoughts and ideas, or do I care what the joke, because the last three to five minutes before we get in back to reading, one letter of the story, and pausing to crack another boring joke or a funny comment. On top of that other guy's weird childish enthusiasm, his voice massacres my speakers at the same time. I can barely hear the actual story. Podcast has potential, just like the actual story. But keep your personal thoughts to a 
bare minimum in the amount of times I've skipped through the tangents or just found a different episode. Just shh. <laughs> the actual could be good, but I could just focus for long enough. Is it just me or does the hunter guy sound like in control fire? Self-explanatory. Literally dropped ice cream on my pants when I heard the meat gooner celebrity couple was happening. A ham and cheese and orange drink, if you know you know, and a bag of chips. My favorite part was when Hunter said, it's right behind me, isn't it? And then proceeded to get brutally molested by Jimmy Prescott. Oh, well, I see a wedding gooner all over Mr. Wellers. What the frick? Please help me. He has my family. Well, one looks like he can control fire, and the other one has really big lips. But together, they can create great spooky literature and commentary. I look forward to each show next week. Thank you, Hunter and Isaiah, for creating a dream show for kids who love r slash no sleep and who grew up with marble hornets and the like. The Hunter guy has a great voice. Sounds like he can control fire. Meat Boy and Wendy's goon are actually cooking up. Ronald Reagan. What? The story about the psychic Mormon girl trapped in the room was great. Joseph Smith and Thomas Monson would be proud she kept the tree's original location a secret, even though they got a clipping of the tree from somewhere. 10 out of 10, would definitely love to hear you guys skip it. Edit. Forgot the guy's name in the story was Thomas. They are laying it on thick. What does that mean? Always up creep in my cast. I always liked watching creep cast. So did the creature. Great show if you love me and gooning. One dude can control fire and the other one has lips that girls would do fillers on. Would be jealous to have. 10 out of 10. I stay up creeping my cast. It really doesn't. I'd kiss both of you on the mouth. Dude, why is this so freaky? Who's creeping thy cast right now? Who up creeping they cast? Who up creeping thy cast? He's right behind me, isn't it? Uh, you're gonna want to see this. Hunter, I barely know her. Smiley face emoji, smiley face emoji. Uh, like Hunter, he's right behind me, isn't he? Wendigoon and Meat Canyon are easily the best duo ever. With that being said, I have a request. Please do the fifth trumpet. We need Hunter's voice acting and Wendigoon's love of the Bible and the Book of Enoch for this one. It's please, it's gotta happen. Please do it now. Yeah, totally, dudes. Like on God. But hey, if you like that video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that that's it.